How are you, Mark? You good? Yeah, good. Morning. Okay, and look at these ingredients in front of us. What have we got? Take us through. Right, it. so we've got a, a chicken noodle soup, but it's Thai based, um, and we're going to make our own um, paste for the actual noodle. We're going to make the own paste. We are going to make our own paste. So it's a really simple one, but there's a lot of work to do the paste. Well, there's mm. a lot of work for Mike later to do the paste. <laughs> but you know, it's just because you have an idea of like you can put the ingredients in what you want to do the paste and get that maximum amount of flavour. You know, if you haven't got time to do that, you can just get like a paste, and then it's even even quicker. Okay. Know? Well, looking forward to it. Can't wait to try it. Well, here we are in the Beko kitchen. It is noodle soup time, but with chicken, because we keep forgetting to mention my favourite <laughs> ingredients is in this. It's chicken. Uh, so just take us through again. What, what is this whole recipe called? A Thai coconut curry noodle soup. With chicken. With chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Say that three times really fast. Uh, okay, so we're going to start straight away. We're into it. Right, we're into it. So we're going to make our own spice mix. Yes. Uh, or paste. So, right, so you can... Shallots. Yeah, so yep. shallots goes in there. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some garlic as well. So just a dry pan. Okay. Uh, some ginger. So I'm just um, just slicing things down just to make it a little bit easier on uh, Mike a little bit later when he's got to grind all this ah, down. Ah, I see. I was wondering why I was a chunky. <laughs> right, got some lemongrasses in there as well. And you don't need any so oil or anything in no, here? No, just dry no, no. So we just we want to toast this. So this okay. will take about sort of eight to ten minutes. So we get a bit of colour on there, but you'll start getting all those aromas out and sort of starting to soften it mm. a little bit. Yeah, I can smell that straight away. Um, coriander stalks. So just the stalks, so you get a nice flavour from that. That's going to get toasted as well. Some okay. chilli. Nice. So I've got a green and a red one. Oh, okay. Um, you know, these are fresh ones, so you get a bit, bit of a different flavour. Uh, you could use dried ones as well. And you could use those beautiful uh, Thai bird's eye chilies if you wanted. Little red ones, which are very spicy. Very spicy. <laughs> if you, oh, if you want. Them. You've got a little bit of uh, kaffir lime as well. So I'm just taking the, uh, the centre of the leaf out, so that's a bit sort of woody. So just take that vein out and then just give it a rough chop. That goes in there as well, but you know, all those sort of classic flavours in there. Coriander seeds as well. Okay. And uh, I've got a couple of uh, green cardamom pods. Mm. I right. can smell this already, it's starting to smell delicious, but oh, I'm worried, like what are we looking for? Are we trying to dry this out a bit? Are we just toasting so we get a little brown on them? Yeah, we're toasting. We want a bit of colour on there, we want to soften it, we want to bring all those flavours. This is going to be the base of your soup here. Brilliant. So I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit more now. Yeah. And we can really get some heat in there and really get that um, get that cooking, get those okay. aromas going. Right, in a wok here, we've got some oil, about a cup of oil. Mm -hmm. So I've warmed that up so that's pretty hot. We've got some noodles. So we're going to boil some noodles and we're going to fry some noodles. Okay, so and any particular noodles? Egg, egg noodles? Yeah, just some dried yeah. egg noodles. Right. So just. Always a good idea just to check how hot your oil is. Hot enough for you, Mark? Uh, or not hot enough? Get in there, get in there. That's all right. So I'm going to pop it. I'm going to pop them like one at a time, depending on how many you're going to do. Well, but you yeah. want that sort of fizz yeah. there, that sizzle. Uh, just get a little bit more heat on it, and we'll just keep an eye on it. So we're just going to keep cooking it until it's nice golden, nice and crispy, and that's going to be a garnish for the top of our soup. That reminds me of, I think they were called taties or something. You used to buy these little bags, felt like pasta, and you put them in like the oil, Irish and it would uh, oh, end up like cheesels that were beautiful. Okay, so don't need to break it up, just let it. No, no, cook. just let it, let it, let it crisp up. So you get it in one that mound. It'll as it starts to come, it'll just open up. But you can just break it and just crisp it over your. Um, uh, over your dish at the end. Oh, thanks for stirring that, just about forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky someone's uh, paying attention. That's right. Right, so we're going to get the flavour in there, and then what you want to do, we got mortar and pestle, and yeah. then we're going to bash it down and Are grind you it. Are serious? Yeah, well, you're going to do it. <laughs> wow. Um, it'll be worth it, though. I'm sure it'll be worth it. It will be worth it. I can guarantee you it will taste better. It's a lot of hard work, so you will be here sort of like bashing it uh, down. Okay. Uh, you can use a blender if you really want to, if you haven't got the time. Um, but it's you know it's a great idea to do it and it's uh, you know do it once in your life. Uh, yeah. Once you've done it once, then you can use a blender because you've done it. <laughs> Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. And when do we know that this is ready? Are you happy? Um, so you can see the smoke a little. Off. Yeah. yeah, we're starting to get a bit of colour in there, toasting it. Um, ideally, now once you've got that heat in there, you can turn it down a little bit and just keep going, keep going. Okay. Uh, for about eight minutes if you've got the time. But we're going to pop that in now. So I pop it in now and okay. then uh, you just start grinding. Okay, cool. Well, good thing we're coming but up yeah, to a break. You can smell that. <laughs> Yeah, it smells beautiful, doesn't it? So I wasn't very good at tipping that in, but you got most of it in. <laughs> Make sure you get it all in. Okay, well, and then you start that, you yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shame. We have to go to something else now. And things are looking fantastic here as we finished off the noodles. Yeah, noodles are crispy. And you've done a lot of... Yeah, I've had to do this. this. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up. See, it's a, so you can see it's all sort of, you know... It's bashed well, it's down. A paste. You can, yeah. yeah, you can keep going if you want to get it really fine, but um, I've had enough now. <laughs> and, that, and that's fine. Fair enough. You like a bit of texture. A little bit of shrimp paste goes in now. Yep. Mix all that through. 
and then the same uh, pan what you did the noodles in, mm. tip, tip off uh, the majority of the oil, so you've just got a little bit left, and then we're going to start frying this um, paste. What you've made. Oh, okay, so you've tipped it off already, haven't you? Yeah, so, so just tipped it off. Bit. Just be careful because it's really hot. Okay, cool. And we're going to fry it out this, the way. Are we? Yeah, yeah, we're going to fry this now. Ooh, yeah, I'm getting ready. Do so we need to do anything with the chicken? Uh, no, we're going to make the sauce first, and then we're going to cook the okay. chicken in it. Right, I'm just, I'm hungry. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, so get it nice and hot. Get all your spice in there. Why and then, can't you just put this straight in, or do you need to fry it off to bring the flavours out? Well, you're going to fry it off to bring the flavours out as well. Okay. So you've already toasted it, so it's yeah. nice and aromatic, and now you're going to cook it. Okay. Right, we've got some boiling salted water here. We're going to pop our noodles in, going to cook those. We've got the crispy noodles. And then, so high heat now for about a minute, just stirring it all the time, really get the oil in there and bring out all those flavours. Oh, I can smell it, it just smells incredible. Good mix, Mark. Right, and yeah. then it's pretty much, you know, we've got kaffir lime in there as well. If you like it like me, we can pop another one in there. Okay. I really like that. Right, and then we've got some, um, basically we've just got some chicken stock and some coconut milk. Okay. And, and that's just going to make you broth. So all your flavour is in your paste, you know, so this is where all the hard ah, work nice. uh, starts. Yep. And then once you've done that, you know, it's just easy. Nice. So you can see how fast it's going to be yeah. if you just buy it from the supermarket. But it's a lot more fun doing it like that. Right, you're happy? I'm happy. So I'm going to put a little bit of chicken stock in there. So turn it up, bring it to the boil. Chicken stock goes in, coconut milk goes in. All right, just bring it up to the boil. Uh, boil it for a couple of minutes, turn it down. You'll get all those flavours starting to come in. And then we've got our chicken thighs here. OK, so we're going to like poach them in this? Yeah, we're going to cook them, cook nice. them in that. So the chicken's going to cook. That's going to release loads of flavour oh, and make yeah. it even more meaty. The sauce is going to go down a little bit and make it... Um, well, it's not going to thicken over the chicken because mm. it's a soup, but it's just going to thicken slightly and just have, you know, it's going to be packed full of flavour. And I've got the chicken uh, thighs here now, so skinless, but I've yes. still got the bones in. Okay. So I'm actually going to cook them in whole pieces. Yeah. Yeah, so it's going to take a little bit longer, so just make sure it's obviously cooked before you serve it, but it'll keep nice and moist because you've got that bone in there. If you what? don't want to do that, you can take the bone off, just slice it, and it's even quicker. Okay, with the bone in, how long are we talking to poach? Oh, probably about sort of 12 to 15 minutes. Oh, okay, not that long. You know, long. bring it up to the boil, pop it in, bring it back up again, and then turn it down to a nice simmer. Oh, everything is smelling so good. You know, your noodles are there. Yeah. So just break those up. They won't take long to do. A couple of minutes. We've got the crispy ones there. Um, once we put the chicken in, I've got a little bit of uh, palm sugar here. Yep. Um, so I'm just going to chop that up. That's going to give us a little bit of sweetness into our soup. Okay. And I've got some fish sauce as well, which we're going to use as a seasoning after. So that's nice and salty. So you're going to balance it up. But I'm going to pop the chicken in first. And when the chicken's nearly finished, then I'm going to season it with the fish sauce. So don't put it in too early and don't put too much in because it'll get really salty. And then we'll just finish it with lots and lots of fresh coriander. Oh, GCA Barista's favourite. So we, uh, this is a Thai dish, essentially. Yeah, so a so, Thai dish. So what is the main Thai element of it? Is it the spice? Yeah, all the, all the spices in there and the coconut and, and just the, you know, the whole idea of the, uh, the Thai um, mm. flavours in nice. the soup. Okay, you know, we've got great. noodles in there, we've got crispy noodles, we've got, you know, it's such a fresh, easy, full of flavour dish. Beautiful. Okay, sweet. Well, the full recipe is available on thecafe.co.nz. And I love the smell of this, Mark. Beautiful, it's turned out well. Hasn't it? I love what you've done with the crispy noodles on the top. It looks absolutely beautiful. What's on the menu tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I'm joined by Lucas Putman and we're going to be making ceviche de scattle.